Hang on, Mr. Bronson. He's been at it again. Another little midnight feast, huh? Ah, they fit for very lucky cooks on it to look his sister. Ah, and now you did nick me minute. No, I never nicked your paper. It's my paper. Get out. Oh, right, right, right. This should be enough for tonight anyway, shouldn't it? Ah, oh, mate, I can just feel Cleaver's fire in my hand. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, and I can tell you that that room was swept and tidy. It is well done yesterday. I don't quite see what that proves, Mr. Griffiths. Well, it proves that someone has been spending the night there. And it isn't as though it's the first time either. What the... You've met Neil here, haven't you? Well, he's going to be looking after you. Okay? So I'll see you later. Get your eyes off that for a start. Over it. I'll save these especially for you. I want all the burrs fold off these metal blocks. And how am I supposed to do that? File. Yeah, I know what a file looks like. But what am I supposed to do when you haven't even told me what a burr is? Oh, sorry, I didn't realise how stupid you were. See these ragged edges? They're burrs. Thanks. I'm going to fold so smooth that you can run your hand on it as though it's a baby's pot. Think you can manage that? You get on with it. Gloves! Gloves? Am I wearing gloves? Do you see anybody else wearing gloves? That's not the point. If this is jagged metal, I'm going to need gloves. All right, if you insist, I'll stop production and we'll all hunt out a pair of gloves for you, shall we? Oh, don't bother yourself. And what were you doing coming through those bushes, eh? A shortcut, that's all. A shortcut? When the gates were wide open, you could have walked right through. <laughs> what are we going to do with him, Mr. Bronson, eh? Take him off to registration, I should think. Any news of your family, boy? Uh, no, sir. I'm sure something will turn up. Doubt it. Never asked before. It's about time your luck changed. But until that day arrives... Better if you use... Oh, would you ever believe that that was Bronson, eh? Would you? Oh, oh well, you could hear him then. Only I thought you were going a bit mutton the way you were leaning out of there. Robert, Robert, Robert. I had to get a better look, right? I'm surprised you didn't wave to him. Or do a little dance while you are at it. Talk about trying to get us caught. Cool. Uh, yeah, but you never see what I seen, did you, eh? What? Robert, my son, you are never, ever going to believe this. Look, you should tell him. Why? He's your friend. Oh, not for much longer. Not when he finds out who my computer's matched him up with. Well, I've got a bit news to her. She's not exactly going to be overjoyed when she finds out the man of her dreams is Robbie. That's why I would just call it off. We need to be able to pair people off with someone they can at least get on with. If that computer can throw those two together, nobody's safe. Yeah, but we know that now. So there's no need to go through this blind date nonsense. Oh, yes, there is. We've got a point to prove to Ziggy and Robbie. <sighs> You've got a point to prove. It's too late. I'll dig the knees life. It is. Uh, you do see it. Joking it, you might keep my well down. Yeah, well, just use your eyes, right? You'll see for yourself, Trevor. The Bronson old never comes out of his office nowadays. And I can't see through walls. You'll go into him then. You're the one who wants proof. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. Do what I asked him if you wanted to join our dating service. Why don't you? Yeah, go on, Trip. There you are. Who asked you? Oh, it's all right when you're there and other people to do things, isn't it? But it's different when we dare you. What then, clever? I'll go out to see Bronson. And you two decide to stay here the night. The Phantom. Ow! Oh. You cut yourself. Yeah. Let's have a look. Well, it's not too deep, but you better have it seen to in the first aid room. Why wasn't she wearing gloves? Try to eight, ten minutes, if she thinks she knows it all. All you got to do is ask me if you want to put a message in the program. Oh, sponsor, come on, you know it. See for yourself. Look, please, come in. This isn't necessary. Oi, English. What's the game? Game? Look, you've been ducking and diving all morning. You trying to avoid us or sank? You could be more wrong, Rob. I've been looking for you, Atkins. What about his blind bees, eh? His computer match made from heaven. Who is this unfortunate bird? It has to be a surprise for both of you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a blind date, would it? 
Yeah, yeah, that's right, Rob. Let me think about it. But don't worry, don't all be revealed. Half past one, outside the cloakroom. Oh, well, so you've already told her then, this, uh, mystery girl. We were just on our way, weren't we? Yeah. Tenor. Once again, made Tenor always a school prom. Did he now? <laughs> Good for him. He was sort of, sort of friendly. I can hardly believe it was him. And? Oh, yeah, you were right. He's not wearing it. Wearing what? His syrup. Syrup of figs, mate. Syrup of figs. Oh. He's weak. It's at the cleaners, Cleaver. No, not you and all. What happened? Oh, nothing much. I burnt it on a pan. I didn't know it was on. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked it up. I suppose that's a bit obvious, really, isn't it? Here's a bit. That in, right? So whoever it is, they're gonna have to go up and tell her, Andy. So just keep watching them. Don't make it too obvious, Rob, okay? Mm. Look, you have to tell her somehow. You haven't taken their eyes off me all day. I can't help that, can I? She won't know where to meet them all when. I know. Okay, Rob, okay. She's making a move, right? But don't no, not you, Abby. She's not like an idiot. You're a zig. Emma Thompson. Oh, what? I don't believe it. You lucky man. <laughs> See, God, don't be like that, mate. I mean, we have been our daily match, the computer said. Look, I'm sorry. But how did I know you were going to build your ropes up? I wouldn't have if you hadn't said anything. I says I had an idea, that's all. I didn't make any promises. Well, she got against me anyway, your sister. It's not as if she even knows me. Look, I shouldn't have said anything. She thinks I go around your house nicking everything that's not nailed down, don't she? That's what this is all about. Look, forget about it. It's a stupid idea anyway. I don't think so. What about your mum? What did she say about me coming to live with you? She only asked Tracy. And we'd be back where we started. We? What's all this we? I'm the one that's living in that home, remember? Emma Thompson, you sweet, sweet thing. Ah, uh, Robert, tell you. I went out with this really, really fit beard once, right? But she was dead bored in the old. There was just no chemistry involved. What, you mean she never supported Liverpool? No, 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 no not just that, Rob. <clears throat> yeah, but she was all looks and no brains, you know what I mean? What, she's so saying that uh, Emma Thompson won't be um, intellectual enough for you, no? No, look, Rob, I'm trying to get a serious point across here. Yo, don't bother. I'm the one who's got a date with her, and not you, all right? <laughs> I just get talking sometimes, Robert. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Oh, no. Yeah, look at this. School kids. Give them jobs an half-trained monkey can do and they end up looking like this. This rate will be on crutches by the end of the week. <laughs> oh, no, mustn't laugh, though. She had her heart set on being one of the chaps. You'd have been better off staying with Francis in the kitchen. Or that on second thoughts, look at the state of him. All little pink, he's all bandaged up. Oh, it's a shame. He'll have to make his pretty up for a while. <laughs> you know what? I really appreciate your concern. Look, get out of the way! Rob, what are you afraid of me? This makes you big zig and they change your mind about you. No chance. Now move out of the way. You make me look very untidy. Robert, zig. Robert, Robert, listen to me. Look, computers are known to make mistakes, right? There's still time to change a little mind of yours. Shut up and get out of the way. All right, Cal. All right. Uh, Cal, mm -hmm. you're not staying, are you? And if I am? Well, we just there don't seem much point. I mean, there's no one around, is there? Well, there's no reason for you to hang around then either, is there? Well, there is actually. I see I'm meeting someone. Who? Just someone. Is it a girl? Do you know who she is? Of course. It's not a blind date then. Well, what if it is? 
Well, how can it be? If it was a blind date, you wouldn't know who you're supposed to be meeting, would you? Yeah, it's, I'm not supposed to know, but I do. Well, who is it then? Emma Thompson, now, if you don't mind moving Emma out of the way. Emma Thompson? Yeah. Yeah, well, she's not supposed to turn up with this, is she? Where'd you get that? Emma Thompson, Mandy Freeman asked her to give it to me. Oh, no. It's not you, is it? It can't be! I don't believe What are you doing using this dating service anyway? Well, why shouldn't I? You don't think I'm sitting around pining for you, do you? Anyway, what about you? Well, that's different. See, I'm sort of a manager of the firm. Manager. I'm, I'm, I'm just testing it out to see if it works. Yeah. Well, now you know. It doesn't. You're not laughing, are you, Greaves? <laughs> I'm not, Rob, honest. <laughs> Not in front of everybody. He was pushing his luck. You don't have to tell me. I wish I'd done it myself. No, it's bad enough me getting kicked out. Don't you give him the satisfaction at all. See you later. See you later. Helen, have you got a minute? Well, it's the end of my lunch break. It's all right. I've had a word to Mr. Lucas. Oh, all right, then. Do you remember this place from your first visit? Yeah. I thought you might like a glimpse into the future. It's a design room, isn't it? Computer-aided design room. In the not-too-distant future, these computers will be able to feed design straight into the machines on the factory floor. What, the ones downstairs? Fantastic. I thought you'd be impressed. But why are you showing me? Because you're interested. You are, aren't you? Yeah, that's not the reason, though, is it? Helen, I'm sorry things haven't worked out as you hoped. But no one has anything against you personally. Oh, no. What about Neil, then? Yes, I'm sorry I put you with him, but there was no one else. We have sent people like you without any preparation or consultation. Well, we tried to cope, but what can we teach you in two weeks? We just don't have the staff to spare. Work experience is a con. But we're not the ones who are conning you. Who, then? It's the people who dream up these schemes. We need young people like you coming into the industry. But these things have either got to be organised and financed properly. Or everyone ends up feeling resentful. Well, I'm here for another week. What am I going to do? Why don't you go back on the machine floor? Show them what you're worth. It was a computer. Computer. Who fed it in? She did. Oh, thank you very much. I might have known it would have been you. I only fed in the information you gave us. Yeah, that's right. You fed it in. So don't keep blaming the computer. It can only go on what you tell it to, all right? What, you mean about being shy, nervous, affectionate, romantic, intellectual, huh? Ambitious, fun-loving, generous... Yeah, yeah, what it said on the questionnaire. Yes, but who designed the questionnaire? You did, remember? So if you're looking for someone to blame because that computer paid you off with Callie Donington, don't look at me. I suggest you try a mirror. Got to bash you there, young man. We did warn you, Rob. Look, most people only want partners for the prom. They're not looking to go on and celebrate a silver wedding anniversary. Yeah, which is why we've designed a new question. New, short and sweet. Just like you. Get away from me, Trev. <laughs> We're rounding them out by the main door at home time. Yeah, well, don't bring them near me, because I've got better things to do, all right. So have we all. Or have you all forgotten? We're here for an art lesson. I could have claimed damages, you know. Why tell me? Your headmaster needs locking up for letting him out. Headmistress, not headmaster. Oh, a woman. Yeah, that's right. And if you must know, she sent him here because he's really keen on cooking. Well, when someone made him get his hands dirty instead of making him head chef, he's like you, thinks he's too good to start at the bottom. That's not it, and you know it. No? Nah? What then? Some had a little joke at your expense and your boyfriend couldn't take it. Wasn't him who was whining his eyes out in the middle of the canteen? Whining? Who was whining? I wasn't whining. No? Have you heard yourself lately? Oh, shut up and get back to your final. I saw you good for me. Do your job better than you. You reckon? Well, I put the right drill bit in for a start. Let's have a look at that. She's right. This is the wrong bit. How many of these have you done? Not many. Not many? You've been on the job all morning. You could have cost us hundreds. Well, it's her fault. If I had to show us, too. I've heard enough of your bleating for one day. Here. What? We're having a little swap round. Right. I'll just change this bit, and then you and I will see if you can do any better. Shut up. 
You two have been staying the night here. No, it's not, sir. This is the first time, honestly. Yeah, we thought you were the intruder who was going to creep up and get you. Creep? You call that creeping? Yeah. Well, what are you doing here, eh? Ah. Setting my traps. Now, you see that? That catch has been left off so that someone can pull that window open from the outside. Now then, he's done that on four different windows. So he could get in any of them, couldn't he? You've got the idea. Yeah, well, you can soon put a stop to his little antics, can't you, Mr G? All you've got to do is put the catches back on again. Oh, well, look at Einstein, what, sir, look. What, what? He wants him to get in your div, doesn't he? Yeah, well, when he does get in, right, and he closes the window behind him, how are you going to know whether he's in or not, hey? Ah, now hey. that is where I'm ready for him. You see that strip of tape? Right, now then, once that window has been opened, the tape will break. Right, now when I come back to check and find that the tape has been broken... You know he's been in. Oh, that's blinding, sir. Did you learn that in some of your army training life? No, no, I got it from a James Bond film, actually. <laughs> the music room. Now that's one of his points of entry. Right. No, no, hold, hold, hold. Shh, quiet, quiet. Yeah, well, uh, we was just checking on these two. Make sure they weren't cheating. Cheating? Trevor Cleaver rings Danny Kendall's come as pros at school. After dark. Said he'd give us a fiver if we stayed here overnight. I might have known if it's something stupid like that. Like, come on, out the lobby. Come on. Listen there. We've had enough shenanigans for one night. Come on. I'm sorry about the last guy. I'm over there, Oh, yeah. Lola. Oh, so did I even know you were going to do this? No. What should right, we believe you, then, eh? I'm a man of honour. You're yeah. taking my word. Yeah, you would have, wouldn't you? Had you ever seen one? I don't know. Boys, boys, come here. You are definitely going to appreciate this. Come here. Oh, hmm? sweet, lad. Come here, come here. Look, look. The table went broken before, was it? The intruder. He's in. The food store. Get him! 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 They must have heard us coming. Oh, what? You mean the pitter-patter of your fairy feet? Now, look, will you lot listen to me? I've got this well worked out, and there is no way that he can escape. How many windows are there in this building? Yeah, yeah but he's got to get to them first, hasn't he? And listen, I have locked every door at the ground floor level. So, if we see him and he runs, we force him to go upstairs, right? And the further he goes upstairs, the less chance he has of escaping through a window, right? And we'll be coming up right behind him. And there's no way back, eh, Mr G? Precisely. <laughs> Unless it really is a ghost. Right. He must be in the basement. Yeah! yeah come on, get him! No, 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 come back! Come back! Oh. Now, this is a diversion. He wants us to go down there. So we'll keep here, keep still and say nothing. That's it! Yeah. No one down there, boys. Come on. Let's go. Stop, stop, stop. You're like a bunch of demented elephants. Shh. Quietly, quietly, right? Shh. Come on, Anna. Top floor. Now, it could only be in one of two places. The art room or the library. Should make way for the boys, Mr. Griffiths. How are you? I'm here, look, Flood. Oh, oh, good. Oh. 
It's paint. Oh, plonker. Thought it was blood, didn't I? Oh, well done, Zeke. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, look at the mess. Look at the state. It's definitely been in here. Oh. Well, lads, lads, there's someone out here. Well, uh, come on, no, no, no. Don't rush. There's only one place you can be now. The library. All right. We know you're in here. You might as well give yourself up now. Sir, sir, I think he's escaped, sir. Impossible. Yeah, has anyone actually seen him yet, eh? What, do you really think it is Kendall's ghost? Yeah, well, listen, mate, there's no way out of here, is that? He's not in there. Yes, there is. And he's hiding down behind there, or oh, wherever he is. Oh, no. Oh, what a pair of bottlers. After you. Look, look, I'm going in there, right? Now, you lot stay here. Oh, sir. Don't worry, sir. If he gets past you, he'll have to come through us, lot. With the heads. Yeah, exactly. Out of space any second now, I think. Yeah, um, that, that, that door's not locked, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Last row! You're not ready down there? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah we're all ready. Watch yourself, sir. 